What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. So a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on team playstyle level and what it means and how to get the max overall rating for a player and all that stuff, right? So you don't need to worry too much about a lot of the stuff in Dream Team. Like you can just kind of rock up and still get results. But I do think team playstyle level is very important, especially as you need it. In my opinion, you need it above 92 93, 94, 95. I don't know, do you need 100? I have different opinions than other content creators, maybe. I don't think you need 100. Some people swear by having a team playstyle 100 that it makes a big difference to their crisp passing and stuff like that. Um, but I've always managed to keep it between 95 and 98 while getting the best version of the cards and the players with their stats and not having to dump too many into playstyle proficiency, right? So we're going to use Goretzka here as a prime example and as the main guy. He's going to be the marvellous midfielders Goretzka we packed. We got lucky enough to get him into three spins. He has a 95 rating as an overall. Uh, that is his rating as a centre midfielder. You can see there the big card there down in the bottom right. But you'll see the team play style level is 63. So this has an effect on his overall within the team, within the squad, within his starting position as a centre midfielder, right? His stats are going to stay the same. That's not really the concern. It's more about his overall and how he's actually going to play on the pitch, how he's going to link up with his teammates to have the best team play style poss as possible, right? So the first thing that we're going to look at is there's three things we need to focus on. The first of those is picking a manager, right? So depending on what play style you like to play, whether you're a possession-based player, whether you're a quick counter, whether you're out wide like myself, you are going to have to either buy or pick whichever manager that you want. Uh, they'll all have their ratings here. So for the likes of Gasparini, he's going to have quick counter 80. He's going to have a long ball 20. So you're not going to be playing long ball with players that are suited to long ball with Gasparini. You're going to play quick counter with quick counter players, right? You can see all of the managers that I have here, most of them are for out wide or else possession. So if we pick Repa for possession, that's the manager that we're going to have. That's what our team play style is going to be, right? So you can see here that our team play style is here out wide, okay? If we switch that to log ball, you will see because he's only got a 29 rating, the team play style is going to go down to 50 and our overall of Goretzka is going to go down to 54, right? So if we put it back at out wide there, we're going to have 81. Now, Goretzka, as I said, and all these special base players... They're going to have a lot of the stats at 90. All these new players, look, I'll show you, right, uh, on eFootball DB. It's a very quick way of doing it. You can check very easily, right? So all these special edition players that I'm showing you here, whether they're players of the week, special versions of the players, legends, and epics, right, will have 90, 90, 90 in team playstyle. All here, right? Standard cards, such as this Neymar one, is going to have one team playstyle he's proficient in, and maybe a secondary one if you're lucky, and then the rest are going to be pretty bad, right? So a quick way of looking is if you go into this, go into click players, click search filters, go down to ability, and then you're going to click out wide and you maybe type in 70. That'll show you players that have 70 plus out wide. And you can like have a look and see, right, I'm going to buy Alexander Arnold. I don't need to train him up too much. I can just give him maybe two points instead of wasting them all to bring him up. Like I wouldn't train Alexander, Alex, Alex, uh, Alexander Arnold for a quick counter because it's going to take four points to get him up to 97 which you could be using on his stats we'll get to that in a second anyway but what happens is right a lot of people ask me this what happens is when you have the team play style uh, at its max you get the max overall rating for the players right uh, so if we start to transfer out some of these players don't worry too much about the positions that i'm putting them in it's not a big deal uh we're just going to be getting the the, the team rating back up or the team play style back up so once we get it up to 78, you're going to have Goretzka back at a 95. That is his overall rating. But when you maximize it out and you continue to improve the team play style, you're going to see that he goes up to a 96. And you're going to see that... Uh, where am I going? You're going to see that he goes up even further when we get Donnarumma in. Right? So we've got all our players in there now. And we've also got a few more to add. We've got Puyol. And we've got our last one to add which is Van Dijk. So now that we're at a 99 team playstyle level, you will see that all the players are getting that boost, right? So if you play the players in their position that they're best at, you will get that boost. So Messi is 100 overall, even though his overall rating is 98. Neymar is a 97 rated overall, but he gets that 100 rated boost because of the team playstyle. 
So the manager is the first one, picking players in the, is the second one, and then training players is the third one. That's what you need to look at, right? So when you actually go back in here, we're going to use, uh, let me see who I can use. I can probably use Ter Stegen as an example. Uh, let me see if I have Ter Stegen here. Okay, we're going to use Ter Stegen, right? Ter Stegen is going to be 90, what is he? He's got a 60 overall rating. So the rating below the player's position is 60, that's their team play style. The player, the rating above it is 85, that's his overall. So Makalele's is 96 and 99. 96 overall, 99 in the team play style. That's pr his proficiency, right? When we have Ter Stegen there, he's going to be 60 overall. So what we need to do is we need to go back, right? It's at a 97 as our team play style. But when we go back here and we go in to Ter Stegen, we can train this up. And we're going to use our training points. We have four. We're going to go into team play style proficiency. We're going to max that out at 99. And that's it. We're not going to use any on his stats at the moment. We can still train him up if we need to. But he's now got a 99 out wide uh, team play style proficiency. Which when we go back to the game plan, we will see that it's gone back up to 99, right? So, do you need every player at 99? You don't. Because I've got Goretzka, Neymar, Messi and uh, Puyol at 75 90 90 90 right you can get away with having one or two players as a 90 you know maybe a 70 or a 90 or whatever right if we were to bring in say the likes of Kimmich here right and we were to take off Ronaldo we could still get away with having a, like a 90 overall player up front like if you have your team play style at 99 if you wanted at 100 you practically need like only three players to be under 99. That's what you kind of need. Like Ronaldo's 97, Neymar, Messi, and then Goretzka and Kimmich, right? Because we haven't really trained them up for team play style proficiency. We don't really need to. But I think that 95, 96, all the way up to 99 is good enough for your team play style. It's not going to win or lose you games. Some people, you know, think it is, but I think anything over 96, 97 is good enough. I try, sometimes I play with 92 and it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the training. That is the team manager, the play style. Obviously, if you're filtering players, you can choose by out wide as well. But that's a really quick video. I hope it answers a lot of questions. A lot of people asking me, you know, oh, how do you get 97 rated Goretzka? It's not a 97 rated Goretzka. It's a 95 rated Goretzka with the overall team playstyle level boost. So hopefully that clears it up. Hopefully it shows you what to do. And you definitely need to be concentrating on getting your team playstyle up at least 94, 95 to get the boost in game as well. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Peace.